Welcome to the Sports Science Hub's guide to everything you need to know about the fundamentals of the nervous system. Here we will help you understand the different jobs the nervous system does throughout the body, the role of the neuron and why it is so important, and the different types of receptors that help us make important decisions. So let's get started. The nervous system is our body's large communication network, specifically designed to carry signals around the body using electrical impulses. It can be split up into two parts. The central nervous system, which is made up of the brain and the spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system, which is a series of nerves which connects the central nervous system to the rest of the body. Different parts of the nervous system are dedicated to different demands on the body. The somatic nervous system is responsible for voluntary control of movements, such as contracting a skeletal muscle, whereas the autonomic system is responsible for involuntary movements of the body, such as regulating your heartbeat. The autonomic system also helps us respond to activity and can be split into two further systems. The sympathetic system increases the body's preparation for physical activity. This is also referred to as the fight or flight response. And the parasympathetic system, which decreases the body's levels of activation to help aid rest and recovery. The whole nervous system is made up of billions of units called neurons. It is these functional units that allow the body to communicate. A neuron is made up of three main parts. The cell body contains the nucleus and other organelles, such as mitochondria. The axon, which is a long thread-like projection from the cell body, which transmits impulses to other cells. Axon are also surrounded by a myelin sheath, which helps protect and enhance the transmission of electrical pulses. And finally, the dendrites. These gather information from other structures and send it back to the neuron. The junction between neurons is called a synapse. Here, impulses pass from one to another and always travel in one direction. The axon to the dendrites and then to the cell body of the next neuron. In order to detect and process different stimuli, we have five different types of receptors. Mechanoreceptors respond to mechanical forces such as pressure. Thermoreceptors respond to change in temperature. Nociceptors respond to pain. Photoreceptors respond to light and allow vision. And chemoreceptors that respond to chemicals such as blood concentration. So when combined, these different systems allow the nervous system to provide sensory input from either internal or external stimuli, integrative function that analyzes and interprets this information to allow for us to make a decision, and motor output, which is the action taken in response to the information. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then please help others find our videos and hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel now. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Don't forget to also visit our website, www.sportsciencehub.com, for more videos on everything you need to know about sports science. See you soon.